here with yoga instructor Gary Carter. Known, you're known for your anatomical knowledge. Can you give us some amazing anatomical facts? Amazing anatomical facts. Something that you've just been excited about then is that also it's, it's quite a, an interesting mind blower for various students is that from a functional perspective, about an inch below the belly button, uh, breastbone, I have to go through that again, <laughs> I don't know where the body is, um, about an inch below the breastbone, it's pretty much where the muscles of your legs start. They attach to the side wow. of the spine. So your legs literally drop from here from a functional perspective. From a mechanical perspective, via the joints and bones, of course we know pelvis and thigh bones. But from here, the psoas muscle basically, you look at that in an anatomy book, you see the legs reach right up to the underside of the diaphragm. Mm. So to some degree we could say they start here. That's an interesting dynamic for a lot of people because when they learn to walk dropping the legs from this area, as a felt sense, they move differently at the hip. And in fact, you have a group of people doing this in a room on a wooden floor, when they walk from up here, letting the legs hang from there when they walk, the sound on the ground is different. When wow. they walk from their hip joints, you hear a heavy sound on the ground. Yeah. And the feet get heavier from the hip joint. It's kind of interesting. So, so, a lot of hip replacements. Yeah, so you say even knowing this creates a different image, which creates a different move, yeah. Yeah. movement. Yeah, it's a perception right? shift. It's a perception shift. You know, a lot of these practices, um, you know, the, the sort of information that someone like Pete Blackaby has put out there, which is shifting people's thinking in, in quite an incredible way, um, various other movement practices that change our thinking doesn't necessarily follow anatomical rule books that have worked medically. Mm. That stuff saves lives and it does brilliant jobs, but we want to put that into something that now is a functional moving thing. So anatomy you see in a book, the anatomy on cadavers is not giving us what we need in movement. It teaches us a lot, but not the moving aspect. So yeah, the legs definitely have a, a function that they, they move from this area. The arms, however, we could consider given that there's a large muscle called latissimus dorsi, mm -hmm. people that have seen bodybuilders do that great big lat spread, yeah, yeah. big V-shaped muscles, has an attachment into the upper part of your, uh, the bone of your upper arm, and it reaches over the back, part of the yeah. mid-upper spine here, but the lowest most portion of that, including its connective tissue, I know I'm wearing black against... You can look at Gary's here. bum now, this yeah, is the bum of a yoga teacher. Down <laughs> <laughs> here... Yeah. The lowest most attachments of that muscle. So to some degree, your arm has a large connection down here. So it's almost like wings, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like wings. Of course there's more of it that reaches up there by yeah. another muscle. And in fact, from here to here is all arm. Wow. The trapezius muscle is a long muscle between here and here. From about there down to here is another muscle of the arm. So the muscle take the arm takes up the entire spine. Yeah, I remember as soon as you taught me that, like my kind of weightlifting and Aikido and other things, they change, you know, when I started to realise yeah. that it's the whole of the back. Was you involved. know where they are and you know their shape. When you start to work with it, and those that train, I do a lot of um, personal training and weight training stuff, my background from bodybuilding, but was taught these ideas, which is, at those times it was, it was outward thinking, a very different way of thinking outside the box, is that those areas respond quicker and differently, they're functionally free that they don't become bound. So I got a lot of stick for being someone that does a lot of bodybuilding and was someone that could work with yoga. It's the same attitude of the mind, just different mediums to work with. It was Bruce Lee that said, if you grow another limb, then there'll be a new way to move the human body. 